Hey, hope you're having a great day. I was uh, posed with another question from a young woman, a group of young women actually, and the question is, how does a young woman stay on the street and narrow? You know, how do you, I guess, avoid the pitfalls of temptations and and all of the other stuff that is uh, working to pull you off course in life when you're trying to live right, you know, when you're trying to do it the right way and uh, and just, uh, you know, have a standard for yourself. A few things come to mind. Number one, I think you have to understand that there's no such thing, there's no such thing as perfection. You know, there's no such thing as perfection. All of us uh, miss it. All of us fail. All of us mess up. And so will you. That's not an excuse. That's just the realities of life. No one is perfect. And when you mess up, the tendency is to become so consumed uh, with the disappointment that you kind of give up on the process. And uh, when you do that, you just kind of sink into <clears throat> somewhat of a paralyzed state. You have to bounce back quickly and uh, forgive yourself for messing up when you do, whatever messing, whatever messing up means to you. Forgive yourself quickly. Get back on track. Second thing you have to do is you have to separate yourself uh, from the things and people that uh, have a tendency to pull you off track. For young women, this obviously is uh, certain young men that uh, just seem to have your number. And uh, they can get you to to do things and to forsake your values and um, compromise your standards uh, sometimes against your own will. Well, when you, when you find yourself in that kind of situation, you have to separate yourself from that so that uh, you can protect yourself. You're gonna grow up and you're going to become more mature uh, than allow anyone to have that kind of control over you. But uh, in, in the process of maturing, sometimes this does happen. Third thing you need to do if you're going to stay on what you guys call the straight and narrow, <clears throat> you got to pursue purpose in life as opposed to passion. Most of you that are watching this right now, you spend all of your time trying to figure out how you can, uh, you know, get, get a man and how you can increase your love life. All you read about is, uh, you know, sex and love affairs, all the movies you watch, love affairs, and the music you listen to is always sensuous. As a woman, you have to you have to do like a man. You have to pursue purpose and set real personal goals for yourself and start running behind your own goals. Fall in love with your future. And, and you know, when you fall in love with your future, you find that a lot of these things and guys that you you are so attracted to now become unattractive you got to pursue pursue purpose I hope this helps you uh, my prayer for you always is that um, that you you be wise and not a fool and that no one will take advantage of you I love you I thank God for you and remember get your life God bless you